doing? That's firmed up nicely now, I think we can get it out of the mould. Okay, but whatever, yeah. you're, the, you're oh, the maestro. I don't all right, know. let's slacken it off. So you've got to wait two hours, yeah? So yeah, otherwise... at least that. Well, you just feel it. And we, well, just feel it now. You can feel how firm it is. Yeah, you uh, can't push your finger into it like you can with that. No, it's, well, it's completely so, different now, yeah. yeah. Rock hard. See the, see the mould coming away easily because it's dried up now. It's, it would normally be stuck to the mould if we tried to take it out as soon as we pressed it in. Yeah. So if you can hold that one. So it's just taking away from the face. This is the front of the head. That's it, yeah. Oh, there he is. There we go. There we are. Oh. Now what we've got to do is we've got to take the seams off, work with press together, that's so where we can see the lines, work was joined together, the four pieces. Yeah. So we've got to take those off, cut them down, then sponge them so they disappear. It's really good. So I can cover it. That's fantastic. So what's gonna happen now then? Oh, I've just got to anticipate it up with trim the top and get rid of all the seams around the sides ready for assembling the handle and the base. So the handle and the base are going on once you've tied once it up. Yeah, I've got, I've got to get the, just tr trim it. Make it thinner or? Yeah, just at the edges. Mm -hmm. Trim it off. Roughly with a sponge will get rid of most of the marks. But it's completely different. It's really hard, isn't it, compared yeah, with the... Yeah, uh, well, we've got to take these bits out for the what I would call like the castellated top end of the, of the sculpture, which is... Oh, yeah? Know, like dog teeth or something. I don't know really what he was thinking about with these, but... <laughs> I'm trying to get inside the mind of Gorgon. It's a <laughs> difficult place to get, isn't it? If anyone can do it, you can. Kind of. <laughs> right, we're just... It's a strange thing, yeah, the castellated top. Yeah. Very weird. Tidy up, just get rid of the, the bulk of the clay so you can't yeah. see how it's been made. I love how confident you are doing this sort of thing. Right, it's just bloody years of experience, really. I mean, you just whack straight into it. It's a strange shape, the shape at the back. It's like mm. it's ears or a, it's a weird thing, isn't it? Mm. So it's not yet rock hard, even though it's been left for a couple of hours. Yeah, exactly, it's still, it's still, it's what they call in the trade, like leather hard. Leather hard. Yeah, I know. We're going with a sponge and it just gets rid of all the, all the seams. That's an excellent likeness, if I may say so. Think so? Yeah, I do. All right, I've got to be a bit more exacting with this because this is the actual profile, so we don't want to, we don't want to lose the profile, so we've got to be a bit... A bit slower and a bit gentle with this. Yeah, the nose, the Logan nose. Very distinctive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All right, now we'll start with this. I probably need a bit of slip into that. And, uh, I think there's a bit of a sort of ridge. Hmm. And it works its way out eventually, it's just got to be. Yeah. And the moisture's critical too, too much will start getting it to uh, to bend again, so we've got to be a bit careful, don't put too much. A lot of work with the sponge going on. Mm. Make sure we don't lose the broken nose. I'll just get into the mouth though, because once you get the, the, the glaze in it, it kind of heals it up, so you need it a bit deeper than you can get in. You can't mould it this deep, you see, you can't mould these very fine lines into it, so. Right, so you've got to cut it in afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Just clear it away. It's a much underestimated sculptural implement, the uh, kitchen sponge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's great for, great for pottery, a sponge. Another thing you can't really put on in the kiln is like a little bit, at the end of a gaudy beer, go put a bit of, uh, a bit of clay off there. Let's get rid of that bit. The bits you can just have to like model freehand. It looks more and more like a death mask. Yeah, yeah. It's a death mask, isn't it? He's got a sort of. Yeah, we'll put a bit of slip onto it there, so we'll make sure we don't catch any. Yeah. Put more on than you need, then you can take, take it off as you need it as you, as you model it so you can get rid of that bit. And we could put the, the detail of the hair in with the, the back end of a paintbrush later, you see, when the 
because this 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 will will suck the moisture out of that clay pretty quickly. Right. Right, that's ready for, to make the foot ring and the handle now. I'll just have to let that uh, set for a little bit. 